Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna try a TikTok trend. Uh, you can look it up under canvas embroidery. That's how I found it. So first I have a picture, uh, just a line drawing of uh, a thick girl's body that I'm going to use for this project. The next step after printing that out is that I'm going to paint some random shapes onto a canvas and let that dry. Uh, and then we'll be embroidering this picture onto the canvas. Obviously this is a brand new canvas. I have to peel the plastic off of it. Um, this is a pack of pretty cheap canvases I got at Michael's. I think it was a seven pack for $10.99. And then for the paints, I'm using Craft Smart acrylic paint. Uh, the darker one is terracotta and the lighter one is coral. And I took them with me to the store, to Michael's also, um, to get thread to match. And I believe these threads, they don't have a name on them. They just have numbers. Uh, but I believe it was another coral and maybe like burgundy or something. I just matched them to the container to see what they were. But the lighter one is number 20 and the darker one is 356 in case you want to go looking for them. I also bought a pack of needles because I had a hand sewing kit but I wasn't sure that the needles in that would be strong enough to poke through canvas. So this is just a random pack of needles. It was like 350 or something. The thread was like less than a dollar a piece and I overbought but I didn't know how much I would use because I've never done this before but the needles are a size 18 and uh, they say chenille on them I, I didn't really know what I was looking for <laughs> to be honest so I just got those so now you can see that I have painted two random shapes with the coral and I'm working on the random shapes with the terracotta and I did not wait for the coral to dry before I went in with the terracotta but I didn't think it'd be that big of a deal. So for the next shape, I kind of just wanted to do like almost like a flower shape, just like the petals. It didn't super end up that way, but it's like a weird shape that I made, but I think it's really cute. And I like where it ends up landing with the embroidery. It looks kind of cool. So I also grabbed a smaller brush for this since it was a smaller area that I was painting. Oh, I don't think I've mentioned that the dish that I clean my brushes off in is just a little porcelain dish that I got at the dollar store. And the little glass container that's holding my paintbrushes that has the flowers painted on it is just from Goodwill. All right, so now we wait for it to dry while I color my hair. Go check out my Instagram to see how it came out. Anyway, <laughs> uh... Now we're gonna, I'm just trimming the paper so that I can tape it to the top so it doesn't move while I'm trying to do the next step. And so I could make sure that I had it sort of placed where I wanted it, which was pretty much in the center of the canvas. So now I'm placing it and I'm going to tape it down with some blue painter's tape that I randomly had in a drawer, even though I don't paint my house because I live in an apartment. Now I grabbed a needle and I'm just gonna poke like a decent, e pretty even space um, all around every line 
on this picture. It's a lot. My hand actually really hurt from doing it. <laughs> and also, now that this is done for me, but you guys haven't seen the final product, I can tell you that like, if I did this again, I would probably try a little bit easier picture, something with less loops, because I haven't tried to cross stitch or embroider or anything like that in years. So I really wasn't 100% sure what I was doing and the loops came out a little weird, but you'll see. I mean, overall, I really like how it came out, but there are definitely things that I would change if I did it again. And I might actually, cause I think it's a really cool project. My hand was really sore. I had to like take breaks and like shake my hand out. Um, and in case of any of you are wondering, I got this picture off of Pinterest. And then I brought it in Procreate and I traced the outline of it. Um, and the picture I believe was from a Redbubble website. Like the name of it was Redbubble. Um, but... So it's not mine. I didn't create it. I did take a picture of my own back and trace it, but I didn't really like the way it looked and I didn't really want to show you guys my back. So somebody else's back it is. All right, well, I'm not sewing the picture down to the canvas, so I've removed it. Uh, now I'm gonna thread a needle with the, the dark terracotta type color thread first um, and do the top that way. I would recommend that you keep your source material nearby because I don't know about you, but that just looks like a bunch of crazy dots to me. And I did have to refer back to it to make sure that I was sewing in the correct dots and going in the right direction because honestly you could easily mess this up and I did but I'm st I still like it but I did mess it up all right I'm gonna start it on camera for you but I'm not gonna sew the whole thing on camera for you because I really had to bring the canvas pretty close to my face and keep flipping it back and forth to make sure I was getting in the holes because the way the camera set up I had to hold it too far out in front of me I couldn't really get into the holes and it would have just taken me forever to sew this so I started on camera I go off sew a bunch of it come back re-thread finish up the dark color and then I'll move on to the different thread. But anyway, you're not gonna see the whole thing, but you know, you'll see enough of it. Um, also, let me explain the type of sewing that I'm doing. I don't know if there's a name for it. There probably is, and I just don't know what it is. I used to sew, I don't remember anything, but I went in through one hole, went through the next one, went back up through the next hole, and then I went back into the last hole because you didn't want to I didn't want to break in the stitching so you just want to keep looping it and looping it if that doesn't make sense uh, hit me up on Instagram and I'll try to explain it better <laughs> it probably doesn't make sense so I ran out of thread um, so I'm just tying off the end and I'm gonna re-thread with some more so I can go back and finish all the spots that I need to do with the dark thread. And so I'm just doing the dark thread on top of the light coral and the white. And then I'm going to do the light colored thread on top of the terracotta and the white. So it looks really cool when it's done. It, it'll make sense. So here's where I finished off using the terracotta thread. And then I'm going to switch to the 
coral thread for the rest of it. All right, so now I've stitched with the second color and this is just the last few little dots for you. You can see that I followed it pretty closely. Definitely the hair came out messy, but I'm pretty happy with everything else. And you can see that where that weird flower shape is, it landed on her hip kind of, and I don't know, I like it. I think it looks cute. Looks like she has a tattoo. I also jumped across the back of this with that coral thread because I realized her hair wasn't like closed off on one side, if that makes sense. There was no like defining edge to it. So I fixed that. Um, and then I'm just making sure to tie off the string and trim it down. Not really necessarily important, but I did it anyway. And also shortly after this, I realized I missed two dots and I had to go back and fix those two. There it is. It's just two dots, but I had to go back and fix it. Otherwise she would be uneven and I couldn't have that. All right, so this is the final reveal. I mean, her hair is definitely janky, but overall I like her. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you later. Bye!